So what we need to do for this problem is we need to find the zeros, right? The multiplicity and the end behavior. So the first thing I want to do when finding the end behavior is I need to find the degree and also I need to find uh, the leading coefficient. So the important thing with this one, we can see that this is not all factored out, right? We need to make sure that this is all spread out. So one thing I'll look at, just to kind of get an idea, um, I want to make sure that I have the correct degree. So I have one third, x cubed, x minus four squared, that's gonna produce a perfect square trinomial, right? x squared minus eight x plus 16. Now what you guys can see is, I mean, I'll, I'll multiply this through so you can see it with multiplying the fractions. But the, really, the only thing I'm really concerned about right now is that I have the correct degree. Remember when you multiply uh, <coughs> variables with different degrees, you were going to add the degrees. So what I'll have is negative 8 thirds. And it's not important that you guys remember how to multiply these fractions. But it's important that you guys understand that um, I did this to make sure I could see what is. Really, all you care about right now is just this first degree. I did that there because I know a lot of you hate fractions, so I wanted to make sure I go through it, and that's how you multiply one third. So, what we have here is x to the fifth power. So that's going to be your degree. So a lot of times I'll just write degree, and then I write my leading coefficient. My degree is equal to five. Leading coefficient is one third. Since this is odd and that is even, my graph is going to fall to the left and rise to the right. Okay, cool. All right, the next thing we need to look at is the zeros. And here's the really cool thing about how this problem is already given to us. The zeros are already set in factored form. What I have is I already have two factors multiplied by each other. So what I can do here now is separate these. These are two factors multiplied by each other, right? This is going to be um, rewritten as x minus 0 cubed, if you like. But what we can do is say 0 equals 1 third x cubed and 0 equals x minus 4 squared, right? Remember when we have two factors multiplied to give you 0, you apply the 0 product property, right? right. So now we just set, now we just solve each one of these for 0. Well, guys, divide by one third on both sides, Q root on both sides, and you get x equals zero. Here, you're gonna square root, add the four to the other side, you get x equals four. However, the important part about this is we need to determine the multiplicity, right? Multiplicity is going to be your exponent of your factor, and that's why I said you could rewrite this, ladies and gentlemen, as zero equals one third x minus zero cubed. Because a lot of times when I'm talking about my factors, we're looking at is it x minus h. You know, it's x minus some value. So you, if you have no value there, you can always write in your zero. So now we look at what are my exponents of my two factors? There and there. So the exponents are gonna be three and two. So that means my multiplicity So this one's going to have a multiplicity of 3, and this one's going to have a multiplicity equal to 2. Make sense? Questions? Who got this? No? Good? All right. 